Okay, so we have a session EDB. Uh, the important things to note here is that you have a method called merge entity and persist entity. Those two methods do the update and insert into the database. And we, of course, right clicked on it and exposed it as a data control. The minute that we do that, you'll actually see the same method appear in here merge entity and persist entity. Now let's create a new GSF page and what we are going to do is for example create a form to add a new department so we take the query department find all method and we can just drag it onto the page right? now the method the return item of course is then ADF form okay. this would create, let's create just those buttons and it will create a page that will allow us to update information in the page right? if we actually want to create a new record we can expand the operations node and pick up the create operation drag and drop it over here so we'll add a new button right? then um, we might want to do the update to the database and insert so we'll take the merge entity operation and drag and drop it for example next to the submit button as um, button what we need to pass to it is um, the object that is actually going to be uh, persisted or merged in our case right now so we bring up the expression language editor binding we locate the iterator that we have current row and inside it the data provider object this is the object that is actually going to be persisted so this was the merge entity, let's add another button um, again a button, this would be the persist, same thing going into the iterator, current row, data provider ok, save everything, let's run our page in the meantime we might want to open a database navigator let's go to our database and look at the tables that we have I'm going to work with the departments table Over here, our web page will show up. Right. And first thing we're going to do is Department 10. We're going to update it to be at location 1500 and click the Merge Entity, which does an update. Okay. And we'll click the Create button to create an empty row create for example department 667 marketing in location 1700 and click persist entity to insert the new record into the database go over to our database browser let's look at the data for the table right now department 10 is now in location 1500 and at the end of the list we have our new department in our database that's it